That's him right here. Lazada? Sir. Lazada? Yes, sir. Where are you going, my friend? Got one for uh, Marcos. Hey, partner, sir. Your partner come? That's a Lazada card right there. It's like Amazon, but it's a COD. You show, they show up, and you get uh, you just give them cash on arrival. Cause ain't nobody got a credit card. Now, Fadima, you know that we're in the YouTube business, right? So when you put your hair up and you're looking all haggard like that. Don't act surprised when the camera gets put in your face. But folks, she is looking so beautiful. Look at her brown skin. Mm, mm, mm. Little gingerbread girl. Got the booty hanging out over there. My <laughs> God, she's beautiful. And folks, check this out. We just did a live stream. And thanks for joining me if you were on the live stream. But basically I have my, my beer and my iPad there. I had the camera right over here on a, on a tripod and I was sitting in this chair underneath that guava tree. So thanks for joining me. And you saw live the Lazada guy show up, but I didn't show you what we got. I wanted to save that. Is it heavy? Pick it up, pick it up. It's heavy. Is it heavy? I've been looking for some cast iron to cook in because we are considering going down to Fatima's village. And through research, and I'm going to give a shout out to the gentleman that his channel turned me on to this. I stumbled across Lodge Manufacturing Company. And you read the sign, it's American made since 1896. And this is the 3.2 quart, 3 liter cast iron combo cooker. Okay? And show them the back again, baby. Is that heavy? And, and there you go, 100 years and still cooking. And they are out of South Pittsburgh, Tennessee. Made in the USA. Made in the USA. And I stumbled upon this, this guy's channel. His name's Cowboy Kent Rollins. He's an old cowboy, I think, from Oklahoma. And he goes around on these cattle drives or with the chuck wagon. And he does cowboy cooking, outdoor cooking. <coughs> You know, cooking in a Dutch oven. He's got a pot belly stove. And so I started watching a few of his videos. And he's got some great recipes on there. And I recommend you check it out. Matter of fact, I'll put a link down in the description to his channel. But it's Cowboy Kent Rollins. Just a good old dude. You know, flying an American flag. Loves Jesus. No cursing. His wife's on the camera. How can you not love the guy? And I think he's coming up on 700,000 subs. So anyhow, Fadi Mine and I have watched a couple of his cooking videos. Enjoy it. And he turned me on to cooking with cast iron. Now look, I grew up cooking on cast iron. So he didn't turn me on to that fact. But I learned about a company called Lodge. And it seems to me that that's his favorite as well. Whether that's, I think he has others. And he's done reviews on other stuff. But... So I started researching and I said, you know, the thing about cooking with cast iron is you can put it in the oven, you can put it on a stove, you can use an induction burner, you can put it on the charcoal grill, you can put it over wood fire. And if we go to the village, Fatima, how do you cook down in the village? What do you use? Uh, fire with what? Wood. So I said, you know what, let me see about getting a Dutch oven. It'd be perfect. We can cook all kind of shit in there over wood. Great for the videos, do recipes and stuff. And I checked out their website. And then somebody started saying that they had Camp Chef products. And they said, oh, my Camp Chef is better. So I started researching Camp Chef. And you look at some of their products, and they're pretty good, too. And then let's go down the rabbit hole of where is this shit made. Lodge it's quite clear it's made in South Pittsburgh Tennessee in their foundry they've been making this shit over a hundred years and matter of fact according to their website and the YouTube video they're expanding their foundry and supposedly there were times where people weren't buying kitchen stuff so they were making cast iron fucking lawn ornaments or something to keep the paychecks and the, and the, the foundry going 
It's an American company. It's made by Americans. It's made in America. Has been for over 100 years. But, you know, I don't know much about these products because all the cast iron I grew up with has been in the family for a long time. I don't, fuck, I don't know what brand it is. But when I started researching Camp Chef, if you dig deep enough on their website under frequently asked questions, if somebody's asking, where are your cast iron products made? And they say, they're created in America and manufactured in China. Boom! It's Chinese shit. It is Chinese fucking shit. And so a lot of the positive reviews that I read about, you know, Camp Chef versus Lodge, that, that erased everything right there. It erased everything because I'm tired of every fucking thing in the world being made in China. I have some Carhartt pants that are made in America. And some of my Carhartt shit is like Camp Chef. It's designed in America. It's made in other places. I got it. I'm not 100%. This fucking Sony is designed wherever and it's made in China. I got it. But you take a company from my research like Lodge. Now before in the early days there were another name. Uh, what was it? Blacklock or something like that. This is still made in America. A good old fashioned product made in America. Damn iron skillets. Dutch ovens. Um, so I said, you know what? That's my that's my go-to. That's my horse right there. I'm gonna get me some lodge cooking equipment, and we're gonna cook with cast iron. Whether we're here cooking over a charcoal grill, or we're down in the village cooking over wood. So I start research, researching the stuff. You go on their website in the states, and this particular item that I just picked up. It was like 65 bucks on the website, and I might be off a few bucks. And when I first started looking at their products on Lazada, which is like the Amazon of the Philippines, the prices can range from reasonable to five times as much as you would pay in the States. But I finally screwed around. I found a company that it looked like all they did was distribute Lodge products, and I, I ordered this particular item it came out to be roughly 68 bucks where in America it's 65 and like I said on my live stream I just did I, I, I think it's fake but I ordered it I'm gonna contact the company I'm gonna figure out is this a legitimate product and it looks legitimate if it's a fake it's a damn good fake but it's in plastic it's in the box it's heavy as shit and we're going to unbox it here in a second, but I'm going to do my due diligence with the numbers that are on the box and send some pictures to the company and make sure that that's the case. And so that's what I got. Our walk is about to play out. And this is what I chose because I don't, we don't have a lot of things, but this particular product. I think is going to suit our needs and it's going to last and when I die and Fatima dies with Forrest G is still be cooking on this damn thing. So that's where we're at. I got a Lodge cast iron. What the hell is the name of it baby? Let me see it again. It's a 3.2 quart. Uh, what the hell? Cast iron combo cooker. And basically what it does, the lid can double as like a, a frying pan. So it's a cross between a frying, a deep frying pan, a frying pan, a Dutch oven, and it was like 68 bucks on Lazada. It took three days to get here. How can you beat that? Okay, have you ever cooked on a cast iron no. before? In the village, what kind of pots do you have? Stainless, like that. They're like stainless or aluminum? Yeah. Okay, well this is a little different, but I think you're going to love it once you get used to it, okay? Okay. Alright. So hold it up so everybody can see it. Hold it up. Higher. Hold it up there. Right there. Just a couple more minutes. Alright, while you're holding it up, let me read the back of it to my subscribers. Can you hold it up so I can read it? How long can you hold it, baby? 
Since 1896, the Lodge family has been casting premium iron cookware at our Tennessee foundry. Starting with raw materials and finishing with our seasoning process, we continue to improve on the highest quali quality standards that go into every piece we make. As the sole American manufacturer of cast iron cookware, we are proud to carry on the legacy started by our great grandfather, Joseph Lodge. We don't just make cast iron, we make heirlooms that bring people together for generations. Now let's eat. Baby, you didn't hold it up there the whole time. <laughs> okay, folks, I'm just being a jackass. I was just going to see how long she could hold it up there. <laughs> All right, let's unbox this thing. All right, folks, I got a beautiful fucking knife tearing into this bad boy. And like I said, it's properly wrapped in plastic. And my instinct is telling me this is legit. I'll tell you in just a second how much I paid for it. Well, let's get that plastic off of there. Oh, you just messed up the pretty picture. All right, set this aside. And we need a knife. All right, so while she's getting alone, the tool. Again, it's a 3.2 quart, 3 liter cast iron combo cooker. And basically, that lid doubles as a skillet. See how it's got a lid over there? All right, Fatima is going to cut into it without cutting herself. Let's, let's look at one more thing. Here you go. Brutally tough for decades of cooking, seasoned for a natural, easy release finish that improves with use. Unparalleled in heat retention and even heating, easy hand wash, dry rub with cooking oil. The right tool for searing, sauteing, simmering, braising, baking, roasting, frying at home in the oven, on the stove, on the grill, or over the campfire. Now, if I can mind, I went to get my, that's my beer opener here. But the ladies used my little lime cutter and it rusted. And the damn thing rusted. I guess I could clean it up, but I'm not sure. I was supposed to cut limes, but they screwed it up. Oh shit, you got a Filipino with a knife. I don't cut up like that. Let me do it. <laughs> Baby, let me let me handle it. Just spin it around here. Yeah. Move your hands. I don't want to go back to the hospital. I've been to the hospital all morning getting forced to some <laughs> immunizations. I don't want to go back. There we go. All right, so let's open that bad boy up, and I'll help you out. Pull, pull that box. Oh shit, that's heavy, folks. So here we go. This is the lid, which also doubles as a pretty good frying pan. And that looks awesome. If this is a fake, it is a great fake, because I'm thinking this is real. That is heavy as can be. There you go. All right, baby, pick that up. Use both hands, because you can use that handle right there. That's heavy. That's heavy? Yeah. What do you think? Good quality? Yeah, I can cook a pancake. <laughs> you gonna cook a pancake? Yeah, <laughs> it's not burnt. <laughs> All right, and we got a little paper in between there. Yeah. And this is you know, about an inch extra deep. I think it's a 10 inch. This is large. And that's the main pan here. So let me flip it over. Oh my God. And it's got large with a number two, USA 8CF on it. And they say this thing works on an induction. <laughs> it's okay. On an induction cooker. All right, so let's see the lid. And I'm just curious if I set it in here like this, will it fit in there? Yeah, it'll sit there if you go like that, but that's not how it's designed. It's designed to sit in here like so. Oh. So there you go. So now you can use it as a uh, Dutch oven. You can bake in it, put it on the fire, put some coals up top with a Dutch oven. You can use this thing simply as a lid. 
or you can be over here frying up some eggs or pancakes and then over here cooking chicken here's the thing that comes with it carrying for your new cast iron cookware and to keep this cookware 100 years it's got you it's got the basic uh, care options I mean if I mind we'll go over this but this thing's gonna last a long time and I think this is our our solution to our cooking problem the only thing about it is so heavy we're not gonna be <laughs> taking this on the damn airplanes too many times I'd have to smuggle this I'd have to rig up something to put underneath my jacket <laughs> or they wouldn't weigh the damn thing because that's heavy Pick this one up, baby. Pick this one up. See how heavy this one is. That's heavy, huh? I got the other half of the kilo of ground pork. I got some oyster sauce on there because I'm out of the Worcestershire sauce. And this Mother's Best uh, oyster sauce and the Worcestershire sauce is cheap. And holy shit, that Worcestershire sauce. I like that flavor of Mother's Best. It's a different flavor than uh, Liam Pears, but oh my God, it's it's a lot cheaper and it is a great flavor. I'm gonna buy another thing of that. So I just got the onions in here. I gotta bust up, where the hell did that garlic go? Here we go. I gotta bust up some garlic to get in this mix. And what I'm gonna do is make the pork, onions, and garlic in, in the big pot. And over here, I'm gonna try to make some hash browns and butter. And I'm just going to see how it goes. And this is kind of a test. This is our inaugural cooking episode with the new Lodge cookware. And I'm, I'm watching Rerun a Hee Haw, my favorite episode with George Strait. And this is my cooking area here. We're in the, the inside kitchen of this place we're staying at. All right, let me uh, chop up some garlic and hopefully I'll get my camera lady back. Let me check my temperature. Okay, that's getting hot, but it needs to be hotter. All right, for a second, so I lost my camera lady. She's over here having to help out with the babies. So I'm gonna pour a little oil in here. Boil these, uh, fry these potatoes in. And I don't have a whole lot of oil, so it's not gonna cover. That's all the oil I'm putting right there. This one right here, I'm going with the olive oil for that. For the regular oil for potatoes. And I'm going to start out with a little bit of oil. The olive oil, uh, this is cooking great. It's not sticking. I've got it on, uh, shit, I've got this one on high. It's not sticking, it's cooking, it smells wonderful. Now these taters over here are sticking because it's my fault. Again, I had the, I had the damn heat on low. When I put it in there, I thought it was high, but hey, it's my fault again. So I have to clean this pan up. They're cooking okay, but they're gonna stick. And that's just the way it is. Shit, look at this damn mess. I got this thing boiling, I'm gonna boil some water in it, try to clean it up. This thing over here is a mess. But let me show you. Are the babies eating? Is that Papa's cooking? Mm -hmm. They seem to like it. What about the Filipinas? Yeah, I like it. You like it? Good. All right, so they're tasting some American style grease, folks. Folks, thanks for joining me on this little cooking show. It didn't turn out perfect, but hey, it's the first time I got my, my new uh, cast iron skillets. So we'll, we'll do better tomorrow. We will do better tomorrow. See you on the next one.